The Israeli genocide, uh, if you remember, started uh, by targeting the city of Gaza and the north, and they turned that place into a uh, rubble that has continued to be destroyed by famine, where there is no safe space for Palestinian civilians in the north. They uh, took that to the uh, middle towards Khan Yunus, where they continue to blow up people's houses and neighborhoods and uh, quarters and, uh, and so on. All the Palestinian displaced persons who managed to escape, escaped to the town of Rafah, which, which is about like 36 square kilometers with more than one and a half million locals and displaced persons. And right now the, the Israelis are obviously like attacking Palestinian civilians in their displaced centers, in their tent and so on. The Israelis have clarified what their objectives are, which is like to murder as many Palestinians as possible. And now those Palestinians are found in masses in refugee centers and shelters run by the UN and few other local initiatives. The Israelis over the past two days have bombed like uh, five of those uh, sh shelters uh, murdered countless number of uh, people. So Israel uses murder in the south and to cover the famine that they are orchestrating up in the north and the continued bombardment that never stopped for the uh, past 251 days. In a way, the Israelis are like murdering Palestinian civilians and they all the time they accuse Palestinian civilians for being uh, somehow so Israel murders civilians, attack refugee shelters, and then accuse Palestinians and those shelters of uh, being responsible for the bombs that are being brought upon them. I just want to bring your attention to a fact where so far, up until uh, four days ago, the uh, state of Israel managed to drop more than 79,000 tons of explosives on the top of the Palestinians, murdering more than 38,000 Palestinians. And we still have more than 10,000 Palestinians who, who are missing because of this ongoing genocide. Obviously, they are not going to stop. And obviously, they got into another stage that we found them doing, whether it's in Gaza or in Khan Yunis, and now in Rafah which is blowing up residential neighborhoods. Uh, and that is not happening in the east of Rafah, but it's actually happening in the west of Rafah, which means that the east of Rafah has been leveled and the Palestinians have nowhere safe to go and escape from, whether from anything that is falling from the skies, whether it's bombs or it's like useless kind of aid. We, we had Palestinian refugees in a tent that were also did not have a bomb falling on them, but had this kind of like mindless and stupid form of aid that is carried out by few countries where they just parachute aid on top of people, which results also in the in the murder. So the the situation that is going on is situation of genocide, the situation of Israeli savagery that is has been maintained by the state of Israel and its allies for more than eight months now.